Well, Wanda, I suppose one question that is upper mind, uppermost in everyone's mind now about Sanford and Son, is Red going to stay the whole season? Well, we certainly hope so. <laughs> All indications seem to well, be? Well, yes, I think they will. They, I think he'll stay. They come to terms? Well, I imagine so. I don't really know, but I know he'll be back on the 8th. Yes, yes. Yes. And I know I'll be glad to have him back. He personally picked you for the role of Aunt Esther, didn't he? Well, yes, uh, he did. Well, what actually happened, I was working in a nightclub in Los Angeles with the comedy team, Skillet and McRoy, that we've been together for 20 years. And uh, Aaron Rubin, the producer, he happened to be in the club that night, and he saw me doing this act. We call it the undress bit, where I get down with you know, and I shoots his clothes off, and I take all my clothes back. And this impressed Aaron very much. So he goes back and he tells Red, he says, that girl that, um, you know, I saw with Skillet and Leroy, he says, I think she'll be the girl for Aunt Esther. So Red said, oh, that's LaWanda. I know LaWanda. Well, I've known Red all my life because we went to school together. Did you? Where was that, LaWanda? In St. Louis. Uh, and uh, he says, yeah, I said, LaWanda would be the one. So Red gets on the phone, calls me up at 2 o'clock in the morning. And I hadn't heard from Red, you know, in a long, long time. And um, anyway, he says, come on out and read for Jane Murray. And I said, so I'm not going to read for Jane Murray. I said, I went to Red for her once before, and B. Richards got the part. He says, come on out and read. He says, I know you're going to get it, because I know what you can do. So I went out the next morning to the studio, and I read for Jane. I impressed her, and she's a wonderful person, very lovely person. And uh, then I read for Aaron again. And the next thing I knew, I was down in rehearsal hall three. And the next thing I knew, I was in Esther. Did Red uh, coach you or anything? Yes, on yes. We see, at first, uh, my first week there, I had never worked TV before. I just worked nightclubs. See, I used to be a dancer. Mm -hmm. And then I started doing comedy. And uh, I was so nervous the first week, you know. And uh, I didn't know exactly what to do. I thought you had to be an actress. Mm -hmm. You know, this is what I thought. And I said, gosh, I'm no actress. I never thought I was an actress, you know. I would just do what comes naturally, just like I do now on TV. I, whatever comes natural, that's what I do, uh -huh. you know. And uh, I hadn't seen Red in quite some time since he had got to be a big star. And I didn't know whether Red, you know, felt the same way by me like he did years ago. And I was nervous about that. And then every day they changed the script, and I didn't know that, you know. And I'd go home and I'd study so hard. And the uh, next day I'd go back, some lines were changed, you know. And I didn't know, you know that they did all this. And so they were going to let me go. And Red says, no. You're not going to let LaWanda go because I know what LaWanda can do. He says, give me a week, give me just one day with LaWanda. So let her come over to my place you know, on a Sunday. But in the meantime, Jack Shea, the director, who's a wonderful guy, God bless him, he says, LaWanda, he says, if you want to come down on Saturdays, he says, I'll come to the studio, he says, and I'll help you. And he did. And I'll never forget him because they all, they were pulling for me and they knew I was trying so hard. And then when Red would come in the room, I'd freeze because I didn't know, you know, whether he still felt the same by me. So he got me over in the corner and he gave me that old dressing room talk, you know, that would like <laughs> we talk in the dressing room. He says, LaWanda, he says, what's wrong with you? He says, I know you can do it. He said, now just open your mouth and talk like you're supposed to. Say, I know you can do it. He says, I'm the same Red that I've been for years. And he, he is. He's the same red. He's never changed. I mean, reaching the height of fame didn't change him at all. He's the same red. And then when I could feel that, he was the same red, then I went on with the script. So Tuesday night of uh, the taping, I did my thing. I just did it. And Aaron was so proud of me. And even the prop men, everybody was proud of me. And you know, I was kind of proud too. <laughs> and then you settled down. And I settled it, down yes. and relaxed. And that Sunday I went off to Reds and I rehearsed with him all day that day. And that Tuesday, boy, I just walked on in the set and did my thing like I was supposed to Isn't be done. But I did it great. my way. I did it the way I felt it. So, mm -hmm. And I even do it now. When I do it now, I do it the way I feel it. Because they were trying to see, I was supposed to portray a 60-year-old woman. And I was supposed to, my first script was a big role for me. I had about, oh, about 30, 40 pages, see? And for my very first time, wow. that's yeah. the time I beat the gangsters up, you know? And um, 
it was sort of, you know, hard for me at first. Sure. But that night when I walked on the set, I only had God on my mind. Because, you know, uh, I'm like this. I'm not a religious fanatic, but I do go to church. I visit church. I was raised up in the church, you know. And, uh, of course, I go to nightclubs and things, too. But I do, now, I visit church. I don't belong to any certain church, but I do visit, and I do believe in God. And I live by the 23rd Psalms and Our Father Prayers. And then I also have an invalid mother, you know, that I take care of, which is 80 years old, and she's senile. But I take care of my mother, and I'm going to take care of Mama. And I don't care what happens, I'm taking care of Mama. And God just fixed it so he just opened the door for me for Sanford and Son, you know, and I just walk right in, red, put my feet in the door, so it's up to me to keep it there. Isn't that See? lovely? And I just love red and I just love the whole cast, the whole just everybody that helped me. LaVonda, and this the is audience, my audience, I just love because the audience is really what made me what I am. Such a lovely success story. Really? I'm happy for you. And then and I have my girlfriend here, Kathy Cooper, here with me. She's also a comedian and a singer. And she takes care of my mother when I'm working at the studio. She's a nurse, too. And she treats my mother just like it's her mother. And I'm just so grateful to have her, you know. And I'm just grateful. I just thank God for everything. LaWanda, you're beautiful people. I do. Thank I thank you him. very much. Thank you.